Breaking. Sunday Doe in fresh trouble over alleged multimillion Naira fraud. Interpol reacts. Now to the news in full. Sunday Doe has been indicted in multimillion Naira alleged fraud. When? This quickly clean image Sunday Doe has built over the years whilst fighting for self determination and the true freedom of the Yoruba nation has been battered by what one would call who one could aptly call obtaining by trick or aiding and abetting of fraudulent activities. As she read this, the main proponent of Odua Nation, Chief Sunday Adem Yemo, popularly known as Sunday Do, has landed himself in fresh trouble over an oil deal worth close to a billion naira. City News report. City News this your news. I don't know where you got it from, of course. City News Nigeria lent a doho who stood a surety for one Francis, an alleged notorious foster, specializing in duping people through purchase of petroleum products in West African country of Benin Republic. City News Nigeria gathered that the number one promoter of Odua Nation, Sunday Doho, got involved in the oil business when he stood as surety for Francis, who brought a vessel of oil, AGO from a Nigeria oil magnet and vessel owner, Captain Victor, and promised to pay for the good on its release to him by the oil magnet. The latter was at first reluctant to offload the cargo to Francis because he didn't know him at that point. But when he, Francis, got Sunday Ibo involved, saying they are business partners and that Ibo is a surety in case he, Francis default. The captain released the cargo to him. Well, this is not a new thing. If somebody is standing short for you, it's because he believed you. But if the person now defaults, well, it is because Ido has blindly trusted him. That is why he's now in this myth. If this is actually true, because, okay, you want to buy oil and you want me to stand short for you, it's because I know you and I trust you. So it is up to that person. The person that that um, he stood short for should be the one to be called out. And not Sunday though he was only trying to help. Helping people sometimes gone is problem. The captain said, Idoho actually flew into Kotono from Germany to cement the deal and told Captain Victor that Francis is his person. I will not renege on his promise to pay the full amount involved in the transaction. The oil magnet released the cargo to Francis in April 2024. All the victory and picture evidences are available. However, City News learned Francis paid a part of the total oil money, which is about $506,000, and bolted away with about $106,000. Well, he tried. He paid almost more than half of the money. If he hasn't paid the rest, maybe he doesn't have it yet. Not necessarily that he, he ran away. I don't think he would do so. And so the Edo has been covering him on all fronts, despite the fact that the duo are always seen together in Nigeria and Benin Republic. Maybe he doesn't have the money yet. He would pay. It's, it, somebody that paid $506,000 will not now want to pay $106,000. How much? Uh -uh. The difference is very, very clear now. Maybe the money is not complete yet. Maybe he's still gathering it. You know, business has not been going fine in Nigeria. So we, everybody is facing it, both the rich and the, and the poor. Maybe he doesn't have it yet. So calling out Sunday, the whole that is, this one is just clickbait. Captain Victor subsequently contacted Interpol about the case and filed a suit against Francis and Edo. Interpol issued a warrant of arrest for Francis who has been in hiding since he took delivery of the oil AGO. At some point in September, Sunday Doho stopped taking Captain Victor's call before eventually blocking his phone line from accessing him. Now that is when he got it wrong. I know because maybe the man is calling him persistently and oh, he decided to block it, but that, that is not the way to go. If you are owing somebody money, the best you should do is to reassure the person that you are going to pay. We assure him that you are going to pay his money. Let him get access to you. Let him be able to call you 
and then you are showing not to block in your line. That is where he has gotten it wrong. City News can authoritatively, authoritatively reveal that Chief Mrs. Esther Aboderi in Essabod has already joined Interpol in investigating the case as Captain Victor is awaiting a court order before taking the next legal actions. Meanwhile, Captain Victor, a reputable businessman of many years, standing and vessel owner, has tendered all the vital documents to Interpol. His lawyer and other authorities showing that he purchased the oil AGO from Angola and paid for everything, including Nimasa, MPE, and other relevant government agencies' deals. Aside from Esabod, other popular med media practitioners, top legal luminaries, and many first class traditional rulers in Nigeria are on top of the case and are monitoring, monitoring it with keen interest. City News Nigeria will bring you fresh developments and the story as events unfold. Okay. Antonio Costa is stay at home writers. Yeah, yeah. Saint Smart says owners are view for Matt. <laughs> Ajike Ojo Imanu said, Nigeria, we care Nigeria. I don't think, the only issue I have with Sunday Dubu is that you blocked the, the owner of the of the person you, you, you bought something for. You are not supposed to block him. If you are owing him, you assure him, you are the one that stands short say, for this person. So, of course, if they don't see him again, it is you that they will call. You are the one that is supposed to put pressure on the person that you stood short say, for that. Okay, you've not paid your money. When are you going to pay? Give a, cons a concise time. Give a specific time that you think you'll be able to come up with the amount. And then you assure the person that you, you are going to pay the money, not blocking him and not picking his calls again. But all the we said they just want me the guy in the whole trend again, Jerry. Yeah? Princess Adebala said, you know, don't come again. Another drama on board. Continue. KJ Akin replies and says, I wonder, Oishi, Oishi. Ibukun Apole says, So, what won't happen now? They will arrest him or what? Even the era of Buhari Fulani, he was never arrested. That's because the case is different. This is a case of you standing short for somebody and the person has refused to pay the balance. So, the person has paid a huge sum of money, at least part of the bill, but the remaining money is also there he should pay the business might not be going fine maybe business is not going fine for him or something you should talk to the person in a in a manner that he would understand and not try to block him out making him feel like a fool for actually assisting you he helped because he saw Sunday Idoho with you Sunday Idoho should unblock him and talk to him and assure him that he's going to collect his money as soon as possible that is what you should do when you're owing somebody money now listeners, over to you, what do you think? Can you leave your thoughts in the comment section? Do not forget to like, to share, and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for listening to you some other time. Bye.